So in this example, we're going to compute the discrete time Fourier transform of a signal. We're going to start with basically the most simple discrete time signal that you can work with, which is a discrete time signal that is zero everywhere except for a single non-zero sample. So that signal is this signal, x of k. x of k is equal to the delta function of k minus n naught. So it's a function of discrete time k, and it's an impulse that only exists when k is equal to n naught. So if we plotted this discrete time signal against discrete time index k, it would be zero everywhere, but at the time k equals n naught, it is equal to one. So like I said, this is about as simple of a signal you can deal with. I guess the only simpler one would be the all zeros signal, but that'd be so trivial, it'd be boring to compute the DTFT of that signal. So this is the next most complicated signal, one that consists of a single one sample. So this is the signal x of k. So let's go ahead and compute the DTFT of this signal. By definition, the discrete time Fourier transform x of omega is equal to an infinite sum from k equals minus infinity to infinity of x of k times e to the minus j omega k. So this right here is just the definition of the DTFT. And now we can plug in the particulars of our signal that we are taking the transform of. We're taking the transform of the signal delta of k minus n naught. So I replaced x of k with that quantity. And we leave the e to the minus j omega k. And then if you look at this, we know what's going to happen. This, this infinite sum here has an infinite number of terms, but all of the terms are zero except for one sample. So really this infinite sum collapses to a whole bunch of zeros being added up, plus the k equals n naught term. When k is equal to n naught, all the k's up here get replaced with n naught. So all the k's have been replaced with n naught. This is the k equal n naught term. And then after that term, everything else is zeros. So in this infinite sum, Every term is zero except for one term, and the one term that is not zero is this right here. So that simplifies, that whole sum simplifies to delta of n minus n naught times e to the minus j omega n naught. But we know what delta of n naught minus n naught is. n naught minus n naught is zero. Delta of zero by definition is one, so it turns into this. And then one times e to the minus j omega n naught is simply e to the minus j omega n naught. So what we have shown is we have shown that the discrete time signal delta of k minus n naught has a discrete time Fourier transform of e to the minus j omega n naught. So what we've shown really is that these two signals are DTFT pairs. The DTFT of the impulse is this complex exponential, and the inverse discrete time Fourier transform of this frequency domain signal is this time domain signal. So that concludes this example and the next example will do a slightly more complicated one where the summation doesn't collapse as much but this was a good one to start with we got to introduce the definition of the DTFT and do a very simple computation to compute the DTFT of this signal